Welcome into a, another Musings from the Mind of Tutorial where we're going to look at creating a cartoon glass shader with both uh, reflections of light and then also this kind of frostiness around the contour of the objects. With that said, let's jump right in. I'm using these two uh, flasks that I have created. This will work on any object. Uh, preferably it's got some geometry for the shadows and the light to work with and so let's jump on this first guy and let's uh, create a shader so with the shader editor open I'm gonna hit new I'm gonna get rid of the uh, principle and we're gonna start with a mix shader um, <clears throat> here uh, and this is all gonna be controlling uh, an emission and a transparent so let's get a transparent and we're going to plug it into a or the top shader and then we're also going to get an emission and we are going to plug it into the bottom shader and then what we're going to do is we're going to control uh oops that's not going to work yet because we need to jump over here into our material settings we need to change blend mode to alpha blend and shadow mode to none uh, and then as we adjust this factor uh, we get uh, transparency and in this particular object it has a fluid in it uh, this object doesn't um, so we're just going to see how the glass responds both to an empty and something that is filled so we need to control this factor and so with that we're going to use a color ramp and we're going to use a diffuse and in between the two we are going to use a uh, shader to RGB and so here we plug that into the shader we plug this into the factor we're going to change this to uh, constant <clears throat> and then we need to plug this into our factor and then we'll close this way and let's get our uh, point light over here. And as you'll see, as the light moves closer and around, we kind of get that reflection of light on our object. Um, but what I want to do, let's go ahead and add it over here um, so we can see how both these guys, there's another light over here, so it's responding uh, to two different lights but not only do we want it to respond to uh, a reflection of the light we also kind of want to get that frosted look around the edges of the mesh so what we're going to do is we're going to add a another color ramp and we're also going to set it to constant and we're going to add a layer weight We're going to use facing to factor and then let's disconnect this guy and let's plug this into factor and then we'll see as we play with this slider we get uh, that kind of frosted reflection around the the outside of the, the mesh so this color ramp is going to control the reflection of the light on the object this is going to give us that wrap around look and then all we need to do is combine the two of these so we'll do that using a uh, mix color we are going to set that mix color uh, from mix to add we're going to plug the frosty outside uh, into a and we're going to plug the um, we're going to plug the light reflection into b and then we're going to plug that into our factor. And then as you see, we now have that mixed around the outside. Uh, like I said, uh, this will respond uh, to the light as it moves around. And that is some simple uh, glass shading for you. Um, please like and subscribe. And until the next time.